Episode one was a blast, and so I'm really looking forward here to episode two. And one of the things that we really didn't discuss in that first episode, Paul, was you really wrote the residential guidebook on ventilation. We didn't talk a lot about that in episode one, but tell us a little bit about that background and and, and writing that book on ventilation uh, for for residential um, for residential homes and, and those, that sort of thing. Sure, it's it's the residential ventilation guidebook. It's uh, uh, the first version of it was published by McGraw Hill. And then I redid it um, because McGraw-Hill didn't think there was a huge market for people reading about residential ventilation and they didn't want to turn it into a movie. So so I brought it back and um, I wrote it as a, a, a easier to read guidebook. I, I'm, as I mentioned previously, I'm not an engineer and I don't like reading Reg, uh, engineering books. Um, so I tried to write this in a way that was readable um, and also that you could skip around in. So if your fan was making a lot of noise, you could go to the chapter about sound, or if you wanted to know what different types of systems were there. And there's a large section on ventilation codes um, and that sort of thing. So. I find I refer to it a lot myself when I pull it off the shelf and wanted to know, you know, what was the code for that? Um, so the ICC was very kind letting me just uh, reproduce it in there. <laughs> 